If I have to summarize, this thing is a beast. Hey, what's up guys? This is the new Apollo Phantom scooter. It is very fast with a top speed of 38 miles an hour, which honestly is very fast for a scooter. It also has a range of 40 miles. Now I will do another video where I will do a full range test of the scooter. So battery 100% all the way down to 0% to see how much of, the, of that is actually true. So if you guys haven't already, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell for the notification so you guys know when that video comes out. In this video, I'm going to unbox this thing. I'm also going to take it for a quick spin, give you guys some first impressions. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now this thing does weigh 77 pounds, which is pretty heavy for a scooter. And it could take riders of up to 300 pounds. This is a dual motor scooter with 1200 watts of continuous power on each motor. So combined power is 2400 watts, but they do have a peak output power of 1600 watts of each motor. So together it's actually 3200 watts of peak power total. So which is basically crazy, crazy fast. Uh, a lot faster than all the other scooters I've been reviewing. So very nicely packaged. And this thing is pretty much going to be full metal. It's probably the charger, I would assume. Yep. So this thing can actually take two chargers at a time to charge even faster. It does come with one charger, so if you do want the other one, uh, that does cost extra. I'll put product links down below as well. So this one is 100 to 240 volts, so it could pretty much work and pretty much everywhere, many, many places. Okay, so that's the power adapter. You do get a power brick with that and its own plug. So I'll put that to the side. And this is the power cord, just one of those regular ones that plugs into the power brick. Get an Allen wrench set. Zoomed in, different sizes. You do also have the screwdriver, the Phillips, the flathead, and this square one. And you even have some other pieces here as well. So you have some sockets and stuff and kind of a wrench. <laughs> Not the lightest thing. User's manual. So how to set it up and stuff. I unscrewed these two Allen wrenches to take out the light and then behind this there are four of these screws. So two here and two right here. You take that out, you put the handlebar, adjust it, put this back in and then put this light back in and that's pretty much it for assembly. Time for some quick measurements. So as far as the deck is, it's about 19 and a half inches or so. Just this flat area where this rubber piece is. If we go all the way back to this part, the angled part where you could, it sometimes helps to put your foot there. It's 26 inches. And then just a rubber part width wise is around seven inches. And then the whole thing is about eight and a half inches. So that's that. The overall scooter is right around 50 inches or so. And the height is around Let's go to the handlebar. Well, let me put this straight. It's about 51 inches to the handlebar. And from the deck, it's about 41 inches to the handlebar. And the height off the ground is around seven inches or so. All right, let's do a quick intro to the instrument cluster. So you have two keys, 
whether you put it in this way and it just clicks once or if you put it in this way both ways work which is nice once it clicks in you hit the end button it turns on the scooter and let's start with the brakes so these are your brakes this is your throttle then if you hit the send button it changes this so the trip is set to zero it does have one kilometer on it i'm assuming that was for testing to make sure the scooter works it comes almost fully charged with the battery which is nice you could ride it right away if you want to this is your voltage 53.9 volts and this is how much range is remaining so 54 kilometers remaining for your battery to finish and again it's not fully charged so i will fully charge it and then you basically have your time goes to trip and then goes through that again so these are your modes you're already in one goes to two and three which i believe is for your riding speed so three being the fastest and then going to this side we have our lights which you get a little indicator here and then you have one light in the front right here and then two on the bottom and one in the back a red light and then you have your signal here which shows up here which is nice and then a signal here which shows up here so you have an amber light on the back bottom of the scooter which it shows you and then you have your sport mode so this is the sport mode you see the little sport sign there this is your bell and that's pretty much it as far as instrument cluster this is for folding your scooter if you want to carry it it is a tad bit on the heavier side at 77 pounds and the folding mechanism is down there. For the latching mechanism, there are three protections. First, it's this plastic piece that you just slide. So, just slides to the right. Then you pull out this pin. And then finally, you push this down and this thing pops out, which lets you fold it. Now, with the other latching mechanism up on the top of the handlebar. So, when this comes down, you just attach it like that and you're done. And then you can carry the scooter. This thing needs to be down. If it's if it's like this, it won't lock. So this thing needs to be down for this thing to pop up. And then once you get there, you lock this, pull in the pin, and slide this piece. Now this is a really good thing because the scooter can go really fast. So you don't want this to accidentally come out when you're riding it. It will not be good at all. So I like these extra precautions that they took. And this is metal, this whole thing is metal. Everything pretty much about the scooter is metal. So it feels very strong and durable. Much, much, much later. Just came back from my ride and I was actually gone for over an hour and I put 30 kilometers on this thing, which I also noticed a glitch with this scooter. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but when I got home, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. When I got home, the speedometer was showing 30 kilometers. Now it's showing zero. So I actually held M with the key in and maybe that's what reset it. I'm not sure why that would do that, but that's a, definitely a glitch. Unless if that's intentional, I didn't actually check that in the manual just yet. Let's cover some of the other stuff. So. Hills, no issues whatsoever. Any hill I attacked, it was totally fine. And you can even go up a hill even from a dead stop. And the only thing that I noticed on was on the crazier hills, maybe 20% grade hill or something like that, it caps out at 40 kilometers per hour. So it wouldn't go faster than that. But again, it was struggling to accelerate past that, but until that no issues whatsoever for top speed so they advertise this thing at 38 miles per hour i actually got to 40.2 miles per hour from what i saw so it's, it showed 64.7 kilometers and i just did the conversion and it showed 40.2 miles so this thing basically goes 40 miles per hour which is crazy fast for a scooter it's much faster than my second fastest scooter which is the high boy titan which I also like, but this thing just destroys that. And that's because it's a dual motor. And, but because I wasn't used to going on a scooter that fast, it took some getting used to. So I did have to attempt it a few times until I got more and more comfortable because when you're initially going, 
especially when you're going fast like that and there's a tiny bit of even a tiny bit of wind you could kind of feel it so at sometimes this felt kind of I don't know if wobbly is the right word because it wasn't really wobbly but because it's a little bit soft it's not that the suspension is super soft but because it's a tad bit soft you do have to be careful with it because there is a little bit of play at that speed so it took me some getting used to and again that's because of you know the crazy shocks and stuff over there so definitely be careful and speaking of careful I got whole new gear for this thing just because I I personally didn't feel safe so I got a new full f face helmet I got uh, goggles I got gloves I got with these hard knuckle stuff I'm wearing like this undershirt thing with like elbow pads and stuff and like chest and back protection and all that and then I got knee pads and stuff so uh, I'll put the product links in the description below for all the stuff that I'm wearing so yeah hills no issues speed is crazy fast especially for a scooter brakes work normally I have the regular brakes version shocks are also normal not too soft not too hard so it feels pretty good my knees weren't hurting or anything else so that was fine I did go over grass and no issues there as well yeah the scooter is awesome that's pretty much what I'm trying to say it's not perfect but it's pretty awesome I feel like the regular scooters are just gonna feel super slow now anyways I'm gonna do a range test on this thing and I'll do a longer term review if you guys have any questions or comments please leave in the comment sections below suggestions or anything like that as always smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one